What does today's poll show about how close this election could get? Yeah, Paul, it does show that it's getting closer, uh, which is a bit of a surprise uh, from where we were when the election was called uh, earlier this month. Uh, the news poll in The Australian showed that there's only a two percentage point differential between Labor, which still leads, uh, and the, uh, op and the um, Liberal coalition government. Uh, that was uh, a, a tra a Labor trailed by eight points uh, before the election was actually called. So there is uh, quite a bit of narrowing. The, the, uh, the election is getting a lot more tighter and a lot more interesting than we thought uh, just a few weeks ago, Paul. Now, uh, why has the government been making ground on Labor? I think, um, well, there's a few points. I think the advantages of incumbency is certainly one of them. That's given its, uh, the government a, a solid platform to put it forward its policy agenda of tax cuts, uh, redistribute, uh, sort of uh, going hard on national security, which is one of its strengths. And also um, feeding into that is also putting caps on immigration and refugee intake. Um, I think there's also a, a, a point to make that Shorten, uh, Labor leader Bill Shorten seems to have underperformed so far in this election. Uh, Labor went hard last year in putting out all its, um, its policies on the table, uh, leaving itself a little bit short uh, for new announcements in the election campaign. Some of those uh, uh, policies that it's put out, such as tackling climate change, have been well received by most voters. Others have been uh, probably a little bit more uh, cautious in how they've received uh, some of its economic policies, particularly its uh, drive to redistribute voters' uh, wealth. Uh, and in a, in a bid to tackle generational inequality. So I think uh, there's, there's that aspect. And there's also uh, the I idea that uh, Scott Morrison seems pretty comfortable on the election campaign, on the, on the trail. Uh, he's a former media executive uh, who's, you know, going hard on, that, on, his, on his strengths. Uh, and he's, he's, he's looking quite comfortable. So uh, I guess he thought at the start of the campaign he didn't really have much to lose. And uh, he's making up some pretty, pretty good ground. So, uh, Jason, taking all that on board, is there any good news at all in this poll for the Labor opposition? Yes, Paul, I guess you could say it still leads. Uh, so that, that's, a, that's a good place to be at this stage. Betting markets show that they... Betting markets are always a good gauge uh, in Australia about the uh, way elections will, will fall. And at this stage, uh, Labor is pretty comfortable, comfortably in front as a favourite to win the election on Mar May 18. Uh, that said, I mean, and, and also one Labor insider told me last week on Friday that, you know, the, he'd much rather be in Labor's position than in the government's position because they have a pretty comfortable lead. Even if today's news poll was replicated on uh, May 18, it would show that Labor will have a, a reasonably comfortable 10-seat uh, margin uh, of wit of, to win. Uh, that said, uh, there's still a few weeks to go until May 18, and uh, Morrison is and his government is is making up some ground. So uh, we never know. You never know, and it could be a, a pretty interesting race to the finish.